Hi, welcome to Colorado Brew Talk. I'm Mike. And I'm Jerry. And tonight we are going to do Trappist Singles. I like singles. Check. Ooh, you like? I can stand it. Who are you? <laughs> What's going on? Wait, wait a minute. What's we... <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so, something's obviously different this episode. We've got guests. So, everyone knows Jerry. Jerry's a, a old timer here on the, on the show. Uh, and here we have Mike. Hi. Mike. Say hi, Mike. Oh, you just did. Hi, hi Mike. Yeah. <laughs> so, hi, Gracie. So we brought Mike in as the resident Belgian beer expert. Would you say that's fair? Ah, I don't know about expert, but uh, I've had a few Belgian yeah. beers in my life. With a brewing <laughs> handle like Trappist, I hope it's pretty Trappist. close, right? Trappist. I've lived in uh, Belgium or in Germany and been to Trappist breweries and places like that. So, yeah, so I've got a chance to try it. Got a lot of places. experience. Yeah. yeah, nice. I've drank enough of them to kind of get a feel of it. So Mike was kind enough to bring a whole pile of beers for us. Um, what, what do we got here, Mike? Our first beer. Um, first beer. This is from Westvletteren. This is their blonde, and uh, from Westvletteren, Belgium. And this is a Belgian single that I did, uh, 2018, I think. It's kind of, kind of old. Uh, this one here is interesting because it won the bronze medal at the Peterson Festival uh, back 2019. 20, the last one what was that 2019. Yeah, this is yeah. 2020. We mm -hmm. have yeah 2019. So this is the bronze medal winner. Don't know how it's aged. Uh, these kind of beers don't age all that well. Um, this is my new single that I just tapped uh, about two weeks ago. Okay, and and I can't speak for those. Jerry, what's this one? Tell us about this one. Right, this is my Belgian single that I brewed really as a starter for my Trappel. I wanted a yeast as a starter, um, and then the club decided to have a competition, so I used that, or I will be using that for that competition as well. And then um, the one on the end, because we'll skip over yours, Mike. The one on the end is, um, it's actually, it was kind of an experiment. It's from the, um, the last runoff from my Trapel wort, which was the same yeast as the other. I, I had an extra gallon. I just took that to the kitchen, threw a bunch of the same hops in, the same yeast, a little bit of extra sugar. I didn't measure anything. We've got six bottles out of it. We'll try it to see what it's like. Nice. And, and mine, uh, mine actually, uh, I brewed that for a yeast cake for the triple, which I never brewed, I was going to enter it into the competition, but the day I brewed it, I brewed a alt beer as well, and I mixed up the hops. So it's a little weird, but then we end up getting quarantined with COVID, and I drank all of it. Okay, except for two bottles. So, and that's what I got today. I can't believe you didn't save some for the Brew Brother I know. Well, it's not, I don't think it's a good fit for the style. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, well, we'll let um, you be the judge of that. <laughs> well, here, here we go. Well, pretty soon you could be the judge of that. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. So we totally forgot to mention the characteristics from the BJCP guidelines for the singles. What category is this again? Um, 26A. 26A. I'll correct that right there if we're wrong. But uh, So the overall impression of these beers is it's a pale, bitter, highly attenuated, and well-carbonated Trappist Ale showing a fruity, spicy Trappist yeast character, a spicy floral hop profile, and a soft, supportive grainy sweet malt palate. <laughs> Max? Max? I don't know where's it going. Slide! Go <laughs> on! Advance the slides! Okay. <laughs> Aroma. It's medium low to medium high Trappist yeast character showing a fruity spicy character along with medium low to medium spicy or floral hops. Occasionally enhanced with light herbal citrusy spice additions. Low medium to low grainy sweet malt backdrop, which may have a light honey or sugar quality. Fruit expression can vary widely. Citrus, uh, palm fruit, stone fruit, light spicy yeast driven phenolics found in best examples. Bubble gum, not appropriate. That's a no-no. Appearance. Pale yellow to medium gold color, generally good clarity, with moderate sized, persistent, billowy white head with characteristic lacing. Wow. Now you never know how hard it's read how hard it is to read until you try to do it on camera. <laughs> As I read, I'm thinking about the beer, the the, the frothy yeah, no, it's head, whatever. It's like you're describing that. Yeah. Instead of reading exactly. from it. Except I can't see the lacy uh, Oh my God. That's kind of hard in the small glass. Small glass. Yeah. Yeah. So the flavor, uh, fruity, hoppy, bitter, and dry. 
Initial malty sweet impression with a grainy sweet soft malt palate and a dry hoppy finish. The malt may have a light honeyed biscuit or cracker impression. Uh, moderate spicy or floral hop flavor. Esters can be citrus, like orange, lemon, grapefruit, palm fruit, apple pear. I didn't realize that those were called palm fruit. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, or stone fruit, apricot or peach. Uh, light to moderate spicy, peppery, or clove phenolics. Bitterness rises towards the crisp, dry finish with an aftertaste of a light malt, moderate hops, and yeast character. So I, I see you guys have been sampling this one. So what do you think this one, how does it compare to fresh, fresh I West think Festival this has aged actually pretty well. I was afraid that it, because of its, you know, it's two years old now. Yeah, and it, it's and pretty low well ABV too, right? Uh, low ABV, it's not one that would necessarily age real well, but um, I think it's actually uh, held up pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's, dry, um, it's dry and crisp. I it's got a really it's, neat aroma. The thing yeah. that I that I uh, I get from it the most is the mouthfeel. It's got a real soft mouthfeel to let's it. Let's talk about the mouthfeel. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, like my turn, huh? So the mouthfeel on these should be medium light to medium body, smooth, medium high to high carbonation, can be somewhat prickly, should not have noticeable alcohol warmth, and uh, often not labeled or available outside the monastery or infrequently brewed, which is why we had so much trouble finding them, you know, relied on our home brewed examples. So uh, it can also be called monk's beer or brother's beer, highly attenuated, generally 85% or higher, which will give you that dry finish. This hits the mark, yeah. actually. Um, so I am getting a, a really sharp flavor at the at the finish. Uh, I think that's hops. You I, think you think I, that's, I, that's what I think. Yeah, uh, yeah hop, really hop bitterness strong. on the finish, and I think that's indicative, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I, I wasn't picking up as hops. That was more. I'd be real interested to try a fresh example just yeah. to see the comparison of it. Um, a fresh example I mean, of this one. Yeah, uh, yeah. The homebrews are going to be all over the map. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. absolutely. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and just to compare the two. Why don't we do a really road trip to Belgium? What do you guys think? Hang I'm, on, let's I'm get in, in the Scooby in. Mobile. <laughs> 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 well, maybe not tonight. Maybe yeah. just, you know, when uh, they open up the borders, because I guess we can't go there right now. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to get my passport back. It's out for renewal. Oh, okay. So yeah, we can wait. Too, well, yeah. We can wait for sure. No, this is good. Yeah, that's delicious. I can't really, I, I can't really put words to the aroma that I'm smelling. I mean, I get citrusy notes. Yeah. Is that herbal or floral or kind of floral? I, think floral I mean, it's really citrus. complex. A little bit of yeah, it floral, is. There's a, a lot citrusy. going on in there. Because I think everything that was in that list that was read off, I was picking up as. Yeah, these guys were like, right. okay. Check. Yeah. Well, I think they Check. tasted this beer and then wrote that. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this really yeah. is. Potentially the example, the, yeah. you know, uh, in the world of for this style, um, and I'm I'm really pleased at how it's held up. Yeah, it's it's, good. Um, it's not bad. <clears throat> the hops are really sitting there for a long time. It's like it, you smell it that that first smell of the beer, and then the hops to me even distracts from me trying to smell it further. Mm. But it's meant to be that hoppy. I mean, it's meant to be that. Yeah. Now I'll be honest. I know my beer. I hosed it up. By you know with the incorrect hop addition, but um, I thought it was delicious. But now drinking this, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, well, it's it's, well, it's it nothing even close. It's a good beer, just not on style. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. Well, I think so anyway. And this one here, this was my first one, and well, no telling at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to keep some of that in my glass just so I can go back to it. Yeah, so, I'm not going back to that. So yeah, this is a couple <laughs> year old. <laughs> this is a couple year old version of your single. Um, did you change the recipe between the years? Um, I'd have to look at my notes. I have them on my phone. If we uh, want to look at them, there's, there's beautiful clarity here. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now with the first with the West Vetchler, in which I'm butchering, I. Uh, I got poured first, right? Because my glass was all Truby. Yeah. You know, which is kind of strange. You expect that I, at the you end. You know, I may have topped you off. Oh, okay. So okay. Was, <laughs> was gonna, okay. So, yeah, well, thank you. I don't care. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, no, I was, I got it, I got it too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I get, nice carbonation I get, level. I get, like, really nice banana yeah, out of that, which I like. Yeah, it, yeah. I didn't get it at all. Yeah, it's not in that. In the West West. That one, yeah. <laughs> West West, yeah. I didn't get it Wait, at all. Westy, 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 Westy
<laughs> but I, I really, honestly, I love that banana smell out of it. And I mean, I had a little bit of that. I know when we tasted Axe. Well, Axe had, had a lot. lot. And that's, really that's, a, that's indicative of the Belgian yeast character, yeah. right? I mean, the, those, uh, the clove and the, and the, and the banana right. esters and things well, like that. And I got to say, the banana flavor is different from the banana you get with like Hefeweizen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a different flavor. And it, evidently it lasts a long time because right. Hefeweizen and banana flavors mm -hmm. go away like that. Right, yeah. yeah. So that's always weird for me is because, I mean, you guys are picking up banana, and I get it. But for me, it's borderline bubblegum, which I'm not saying it is. it is. Just to my palate, it's yeah. like borderline And I bubble said gum. that when we were tasting yeah. the Axis yeah. beer as well. It's like, it's really close to bubblegum. It's gum. interesting. Yeah, there's kind can of a... Spill over into it can. That. There's, yeah. a sep there's a... It's hard to separate sometimes the, you know, from banana to bubblegum or, you know, banana. Yeah, right. But as you say banana, I'm like, oh, no, that's banana for sure. Hmm. That's pretty good. Actually, yeah, that's I nice. I think I like this almost better than the the Westie, just because the Westie was almost harsh. The, the Westie's bitterness is sharp. Is, is really sharp, which yeah, really is, sharp. is fine. But yeah. this is a little bit more rounded, a little bit more mellow. So I kind of like that. Hmm. Very nice, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, I could drink this all day. Yeah, yeah. no, this is good. I think that's the last Very bottle good. of it, actually. Oh, awesome. It may have something stored away someplace, but I don't remember having any of those because I wouldn't have aged those. So they, yeah. I wouldn't have stored them. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing you brewed it again. Yeah, so too. I got plenty of the other one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're going to finish these off, and we'll come back for the next two. You want to bring in anyone? Uh, I think it's time to have another drink. Okay. Let's, let's have another drink. Time for another drink. Yeah. So this one, a bronze medal winner for the mm. Peterson Homebrew Competition in 2019. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we should have had it on camera, but when we opened it, it jumped out of the yeah, bottle. It was, it was ready to come out. Crystal carbonated. Gorgeous white head on it. It's a slight haze in the color, it looks like. It's dark, that's for sure. Darker than the first two. What's, what am I getting in that nose? I'm getting I'm a little getting, bit of something. Um, what is that? acetate. Acetate. I'm getting some uh, nail polish remover. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I kind of get it in the flavor too. Okay. Not a lot. Mm. Yeah. Getting, getting the age flavor. as well. No. no, no. We won't it's, say his name on here. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're deciding whether yeah. we wanted to say who it was or not. Cause, but uh, the the beer's been you know somewhere for a couple of years, so who knows? Yeah. But uh, so we won't mention it. It won bronze, so it had to have been pretty good at one point in time. So, hmm. or the so, other ones were terrible. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I did an IPA section like that, and the winner was like the only one I didn't write. Needs more hops. On, you, know. you, you didn't suck the, as bad as the other guys. Yeah. So, so um, congratulations. Since we had Mike's beer, number one and number two, how do you condition these beers, Mike? Do you, is it bottle condition or? These beers, no. I just uh, I force carved the keg and I bottle from that's there. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, and and this one was brewed. You said two years later. Yeah, that's that was brewed uh, just a Are couple missed, three months ago. Well, I am. I'm actually. Oh, he's. I'm, I'm a doing. Oh, there's another one. Still getting a little. Do so, um, you want to reach up there, Jerry? Um, in the cabinet above the sink. There you go. Give him another glass. Awesome. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, sir. Perfect. Yeah, this still has a little bit of the Westie in it. Yeah, I was kind of hanging on to a little bit of it. Just I, to I was going to try to hang on to the I'll Westie, but... <laughs> so you can reminisce of her. No, I'm still uh, on the last one. So Mike's is a gore... I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is the, the one that's got a little bit of the nail polish aroma in it on my right, your left. Yeah, yeah. And then like look at the beautiful too, color in this one. Yeah, that's more... Yeah, he has a little, bit of oh. haze, little haze. Yeah, in yeah it's a little bit. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I this, one, this one's just as gorgeous as, as your other one. Yeah. And I get that banana nose out of just, it again. Just a smidge. Yeah, I was going to say, I get more malt yeah. than there's banana. A, there's yeah. A little, yeah. It's there's not as banana-y banana. as the other one. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the aroma. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do temperature control on either or both of them? Um, not overly so. I mean, I, I have, my basement's pretty steady, mm -hmm. you know, and I can keep it a steady temperature for fermentation. Okay. Um, so I don't... Uh, sometimes it gets a little cool, and so I wrap a uh, heating blanket around mm. it, and uh, trying to keep the temperature up sometimes, but otherwise, no. I don't have a whole lot okay. of temperature control. All right, no offense to the brewer of the other one, but hmm. sometimes. Yeah. 
Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you make good beer, sometimes you learn. Life's too short for bad beer. Well, sometimes actually, beers don't don't age as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's why I should have said. I shouldn't have said it was a bad beer. It was well, bad. It's a bronze medal winner, right? Yeah, yeah. Bad yeah. beer, right? Yeah. At least in its uh, infancy. I like that one. Yeah. No, I will say though. I mean, first impressions here. I liked. I liked your first one a little bit better than the yeah. second. Yeah. I wonder if aging has anything to do with that. Because I didn't think the yeah. first one was necessarily as potentially good as this one. But then again, I can't remember it. It's you know been a couple of years now, and I right. haven't had one in a while. So. Although from what you were saying before about drinking one of these instead of a half in the summer or something, I think this would be the perfect. Some oh, yeah. It's oh, nice yeah. and light. And, you yeah, know, it's not heavy alcohol. Heavy, yeah, but it still has a lot of flavor to it, but too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's almost really a lot really good. Not quite. Not quite. But, yeah. not quite. Do you get some higher alcohols kind of in the middle? Like middle taste? Or how would you describe that? I think the alcohol... Actually, the alcohol is less on this one than on the first one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm picking up more hops. I did hop it up a little bit more because that was one of the things that I noticed on my first one that the hops weren't as present and on the finish where they're supposed to be having that drying finish. No, oh, hearing. I felt the first one didn't have that, although the aging of it may have made it a little more uh, mellow. A little hmm. more. Because I, I don't know. It's to now, compare the two, they're they're virtually the same recipe, right. but. Uh, a little different. Uh, I, I think the more hops, I think this one's more to style. This one's closer to the Westie, I think, than your first one, though. It, you know. Yeah. I was going to say, I think for me, the flavor is kind of mixing with the finish from the last sip, which is, it's oh, really interesting, yeah. yeah. Hmm. You mean from the last beer we tried? Mm -mm. Sip to sip. Sip, sip to sip, sip. Finish. Yeah. Gotcha. So the There's hops kind of linger for a little yeah. bit, yeah. and I'm picking them up, you know, in the next sip as well. Yeah, that's well done. That's very nice. And it is. So you typically use a finding agent, like Irish Moss. I or use I use the um, what's the tablet? Warflock. Oh, the Warflock. Warflock yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I don't have much problem with my beer <laughs> clarifying. Yeah. But it, a lot of times, I mean, because this sat in, it sat in the keezer. It was basically lagering for mm. a couple months, I think. Yeah. Oh. So, and, and the fermenter still. Right or uh, after, actually after in secondary in se yeah. after I keg it. Okay. And I used cool. to I used to secondary in the keg. Now I just go straight to keg from from the fermenter. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 There's no point in the first all that. Yeah, because yeah. you get a little bit of that coming Did up. Because yeah. right. yeah. I would cut off about that much off the uplift tube on the on the keg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so I, I don't use any finding that. agents at all. So, you know, I've never had much of an issue with clarity except for on the the quake yeasts. Those quake yeasts are super hazy. Quake, all the... Yeah, right. How are you guys pronouncing that? Yeah, I got a, I've got a lot of haze in, in my uh, double IPA. I just did. Yep. Yeah, point. that's quite nice. I'm getting that nice digestion aid. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it is. It's got that, that bubbly, that tingly mm. on the tongue, the mouth feel. You know, it's really nice. Mm. Now I'll compare that. Man, yeah, that's okay. good I, job. Yeah, I like yeah, that a lot. Really I'm good. good. That's yeah. delicious. Thank you. I like that a lot. So we're going to finish these. We'll do a quick glass rinse, and we'll be back for the next two. Mm. Hold, right hold that up. I was going to say, so we're back. Well, we got the, we're back the with Jerry's the bottle, right? Wait, wait, wait. We should save it for the camera. Oh, so we're back with Jerry's single. <laughs> Go ahead. You're saying it. <laughs> He's doing all the good stuff off camera. <laughs> So please go ahead. You're saying. Hey, this is my beer. <laughs> it's crystal clear. So this is crystal clear. But as you poured the bottle, you got toward the end of the, the bottle and more. You compare well, that one to that. So, right? but yeah, yeah I mean, it's bottle conditioned. It's, it's a home brew and it's bottled. Yeah. Well, this one actually wasn't bottle conditioned. This was bottled out of the keg. Okay. Ooh. So it was, but it was keg conditioned before. I didn't force carb it. I you know added sugar to the keg and then let oh. that you know carbonate for a couple of weeks before I even threw it into the chest freezer. Right. So it was carbonated, obviously, when you when you then moved it over the bottle, and, and right, and yeah. then it was there any sediment in it at each bottle, or um, or did you come down to the bottom of the keg and then cut it off? Uh, I mean, it was getting close to the bottom of the keg. I mean, when some I of the yeast. Uh, I will say that because after we bottled, I think there were maybe three more pours, and it was gone. Yeah. 
How long ago did you buy it? Uh, well, it's probably been a month to six weeks. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can see it settling out then. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of this beer? I named it Beamer um, and Beamer's Bass Hit. So I was Beamer. missing oh, bass hit, right? right? Yeah. So the single, I, I named it, you know. Bass Hit. I, I gotcha. did it, you know, the Bass Hit for a single. And then we did a double IPA for Big Brew, so I named that one the double off the Big Brew uh. wall. <laughs> and then I did my Trapel, and that's sliding in for the Trapel. And it's the you know my little bottle label. There it's got go. the baseball guy sliding into the face. Getting creative. Right? And then um, the hazy IPA that I'm making right now. That's the home run in the haze. So nice. we talked about doing a, a big brew episode where we bring our beers oh, and yeah. we made a big brew. Because my not to spoil too much, my uh, both of mine were dominated by that quake yeast. Oh, yeah. Just dominated. I used the Hornendale. Crazy fruit flavors. Right. One of them's supposed to be malty because it's a you know California common, and it's not. It's all right. mango, pineapple, and One. yeah, yeah. My big root, my double IPA. It's it's just too sweet. Yeah, you know? but I mean, it, at the moment, it's kind of tough to drink. It might mellow out though. I mean, it's but it's. Mine's like a raspberry narrow. <laughs> yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Yours is nice. There you go. Yeah, it's not anything like a uh, double IPA or uh, anything, uh, anything similar. But so, what do we get from the aroma? I thought I picked up a little banana flavor. A little banana, banana, banana in there. Sure. It's a smidge. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a lemon in the flavor. Just it's a hint, though. Just a little tart. A little citrusy. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting a little something on the side of my tongue. Yeah. To Finish is pretty up. dry. Yeah. Mm. I think it could be drier. Yeah, I'm not getting that, that, that bitterness on the back of my tongue. With the, like it's more like the, the citrus with, sticking with, around. Yeah, 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 with the dryness yeah, isn't quite right. And I don't know if it's it was it was all Saz hops. This was single malt, single hops. Oh, smash beer. Yeah, mm. okay. smash Belgian single. A uh, pilsner, I assume. All pilsner. Yeah. yeah. That's still very nice. Yeah, I mean, I still no, really for like sure. It. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't very drinkable. Sure. So yeah, we like this one. Yeah. We yeah. Think it pretty it's, nice. it's a nice, again, another nice summer beer. It is. Okay, so I'm breaking out my single. Uh oh. Warning, Will Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. So uh, this is, uh, like I said, the last two bottles I had in the keg. Uh, I used the wrong hops. So feel free to tear into it. Oh, this was, that's right, this was the, the flip tops from the alt. Yeah. See, I shouldn't have said this episode I don't use finding agents. Because usually my... <laughs> <laughs> because, well, I just you don't say Maybe, maybe I should. It, right? really? If you want your beer clear, why not just throw them in there for the heck of it? Yeah. Whether this, you need this, to... This yeah. episode brought to you by Whirlflock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is why you use Whirlflock. I guess. What is that nose I'm getting? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, see, I think this one's past its age, too. Is it? I mean. Oh, what is that? It's, um, I've smelled this before. It's, um, mm, well, it's I don't know the the name. Lavender in the, type. Yeah. We, I think that might be what Dave said, too. Do you know any of the descriptors that go with that? No. I don't. At least I don't recall them. I mean, right yeah, I can see floral. I was thinking, I think it's not weird, but almost dusty. On the, um, the nose? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I gotta say, it was definitely tasting better. And it's been, the last two bottles have been sitting in the keg for quite a while. No, yeah. How old is this? When did you brew it? I brew it, I brewed it before the COVID stuff was going on. When, when did you brew the triple? Much later. I, no, when did we originally plan that? No, you and I yeah. were going to brew a triple. Yeah. And that was before the group was going to We were planning to do triple. that in late April. Yeah. Like 24th so, April. But I think we were supposed to brew one way before that. Maybe. So, yeah, it's it's an old oh. beer. It's been around for a while. I feel like you brewed this single the same time we brewed the all. Well, you had to because mm -hmm. you switched the... Yeah, thing, so yeah you're right. Yeah. Because I brewed the all with you and you were, you were juggling a lot of beer that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was my mistake. I was brewing two beers at once, and I had friends over, which is always a lot of fun, but you got to make sure you're paying attention, especially if you're Mike Scott. <laughs> um, and then we are having a lot of beers, which is never a good That's idea. A, yeah. Wait till the boil's done before you drink any beer. <laughs> The more so, people you have over and the more you're drinking. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you live and you learn. Mm -hmm. so. so we should have saved the Westie for last because we would have been like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 ah, you guys are cleaning this up. <laughs> Very nice. So I assume everyone here is going to be brewing singles again. Everyone's yes. interested in it. Yes. Man, I want to say dish, dish soap. Well, I, you know, that was my There's, first thought is a little soapy, but we're like dirty, I'm like a little dirty bleachy. soapy water. I'm like aroma anyway, not in the flavor. Yeah, but a little. I wish I remembered what the hops were. Mm. Sanitizer? Did you use sanitizer? a lot of sanitizer or something? It's like cleaner or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's not powerful. I mean, yeah. it's not overpowering the beer. Did you not rinse it out? Uh, rinse out the PBW <laughs> or something? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not in the flavor. Yeah. I'm not getting that in the flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting that in the aroma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once again, Ooh. we demonstrate that we don't hide our mistakes. It happens to the best ones. We yeah. drink them. And the not we best of us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really did. I was killing this beer during the quarantine. All right. Wow. You know, that's, that's what happened to ours. I mean, it was just like... Yeah. You know, April was drinking more than I was of this single, I think. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so what do we want to say to wrap it up? Well, do we want to... Try that. What one is more. Oh, we, we, that. we got one more. I'm sure. Now this one. This one's an experiment. Okay, we'll do a quick bottle uh, glass rinse, and we'll be right back. So we're back with Jerry's last one, which is the party guile last runnings of your right. triple. It was the last runnings of the triple. I had an extra gallon of wort, and um, I know I had. Ooh. Yep, there we go. Ooh, I know I had extra yeast I could use. I had extra hops and I just took that gallon into the kitchen and boiled it up and started throwing hops, threw some sugar in. I figured, hey, we'll call it a single and we'll see what it actually tastes like. So it's really a, an experiment. It's kind of free beer. Yeah, utilizing yeah. what yeah. you had yeah. over. So exactly. I mean, what, what'd you lose? What do you got to lose? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So does this one have a name? It's the Bunt Single. Oh, the, the Bunt, the bunt Single. <laughs> 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 well, cheers to the bunt single. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I gotta say, I, I dig the aroma off of it. It's got that Belgian, nice Belgian character. Oh too. yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Whoa! That, that packs a lot of flavor for being, you know, kind of. It looks kind of thin, but it's got a lot of flavor yeah, it to does. it. Mm. Now this one, I'm getting banana. Mm. A lot of banana. Banana in the in the nose and banana and, on the flavor. Yeah. flavor. Everything yeah. is. Yeah. What is the uh, ABV on this? I don't know because I never measured. <laughs> oh, you didn't make it. <laughs> I never measured it. It's <laughs> <in> the end. <laughs> uh, Between yeah. one and ten, I would. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, somewhere I. You're uh, right, Jesse. <laughs> somewhere I have the original gravity written down, but I, I never took a reading on the final gravity. I mean, it tastes like a dry it out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really good. That's, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, and there's a lesson. Save your last runnings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe I need to... I have four bottles left. Well, <laughs> it's only you, the second you know, bottle. If you're brewing think. something with a high high gravity, right. you're going to yeah. have some pretty strong second runnings, and why not, if you've got right. the time and yeah. Yeah. you know the, the capacity to do so, why not do, it, uh, yeah. do something with it all, right? Yeah, and there's formulas you can find. Just look up Party Guile. I'll spell it right there. I think it's like two-thirds of your gravities in the first runnings, or half. Something like that. But, yeah, you yeah. can get some really strong runnings. Yeah, second runnings. Yeah. Now I've got hops floating around in the bottom of it. I yeah, so. I had some too. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, size hops. Yeah, it's all size. Yeah, I mean, again, I almost get like a lemony flavor to it. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good job. Yeah, it finishes nice and dry. Yeah, well yeah. done, Jerry. Thanks. Yeah. You can have the dregs of my <laughs> ash <laughs> at any time. <laughs> I'll just start dropping them off in a plastic <laughs> bag. <laughs> Ziploc bag. Here you go. Mm. 
Probably have a bunch of kettle sours out of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jerry's not here this week. That's okay. It can wait. <laughs> no, you can wait. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's good. So, again, like we said, Belgian singles are notoriously hard to find. Uh, they pretty much stay in the monasteries or they're not brewed and shipped. Um, there's a lot of recipes online, though. You should give them a shot. You know, not terribly hard to brew. No. Um, temperature controls okay. You don't necessarily need it. Simple ingredients: pilsner and some hops. So, give it a try. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Well, hey guys, thanks for coming yeah, on the show. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Lending your expertise. Thanks, thanks for having us. That's thanks. awesome. Yeah. Do this awesome again, to be for here. Sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. So till next time. We'll see cheers. You oh, I'm cheers. Cheers. It's cheers. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk, or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. We're episodes. That's the case, baby. <laughs>